plastic model builders welcome back to some more model making madness previously on our last episode of the b1b bomber we painted some stuff as you can see here put the cockpit and the flight deck into the front fuselage did some other stuff put that on you know put in our weights don't forget to do that it's important now is the fun stuff we are going to put our missiles onto their rotaries. There are a lot of these missiles. There are like six per rotary. So you know, you're looking at like 12 of these things in total. So yeah, it's a lot. Do them all. I'm going to show you two here and then one more because it's fun, you know, model making madness. You know how that goes, right? Yeah, so here we go. We're putting on the last one. I didn't want to show you them all. So here they are. I got a little bit of fingerprints on there. Not a big deal. Just make sure they're all kind of squared up on there how I have and they look pretty. So what we're going to do now, let's work this in sections. It's the best way to do this model because it's very big. Parts need time to dry. So while some things are drying, you can work on other things. So we're going to put in the front wheel wells, right? No, I'm sorry, the back wheel wells are going to go down right here. Look at my new glue. Yeah, I'm working on it. We'll see how well this works. So just go around there, go around this. This is of course the, uh, wheel wells that go in the rear of the plane. Uh, you got those little boxes there that are going to hold it in place. So make sure everything is fitting inside of those. Once you get it down, it's okay. Go around the edge one more time. Make sure the glue sticks. It's important, right? Of course, because you don't want your model falling apart. So this is like a little test fit. This or one of the bay doors that were actually not the bay doors, just the bays themselves. See how these pieces go together? I'm painting all the wiring right here gunmetal because that's just what the plans call for, the instructions. I'm not going to get too picky. You do yours how you want because I know they don't exactly go that color, but it is what it is, right? So this is mine. So here we go, just showing you what that looks like. What we're going to do, put on one end right here. Once we get on the end, we are going to put in our missile rotary into that. So you get the one end on then make sure it fits into those little tabs perfect you know kind of want to let that dry a little bit you don't want to get too excited and get too ahead of yourself because if things aren't in place properly they won't line up and they did a fairly decent job of making this model and parts line up so here's that rotary you know you're going to get that in there make sure you point things towards the right ends because yes they do have a proper way to go so here we go putting in that piece right there hold it together make sure it dries however you want to do use tape whatever it takes while this dries you see me right there going around the outside edges that's important to make sure everything's dry so remember I said while things are drying you can do other things so here we've got our fuel tank paint it chromate green go all the way around it like I am doing here show you all of it not really not necessary but here it is all done get the top and of course you know the bottom make sure not to get paint on anything else so now that our missile bays have dried I did both of them although I only showed you one you know don't have to show you everything like I used to I fear you know you kind of get the point we're all adults here anyway take your glue go all the way around and do work one at a time with these things you don't don't get in a rush with this plane as I said it's big you want to make sure everything fits so kind of get it within those marks there push it down inside of those elevated whatever you want to call them tabs and you know that's kind of just it and you want to look through the bottom and see what it looks like so here we go this is the fuel tank we are going to put one end on here because the other end is attached to the rear of the landing gear base so put this on and this is how I did mine do yours your way let that dry once that's dry you can paint these little guys right here all the little wiring so here I am I showed you one of them before this is the other one kind of just move along get everything the little tabs on the underside yeah tedious work but it's a model what do you expect right can't everything be perfect so here it is that's what it looks like with all those wiring so let's put in the tank and then we will show you on the opposite side you see that little mark there that way you know which way it goes and you see that little tab and the insert on the other thing right there all right so now that we've got that you're going to see this part which is where the thing goes the fuel tank go all the way around the edges as you see everything has raised little marks 
and panels, whatever you want to call them, tabs, I don't know, to keep things alignment, alignment marks, that way everything stays aligned. I knew they had a name, but I couldn't figure them out. Why? Because it's me and I get confused half of the time anyway. So this is looking good as it is. Go get our glue all the way around that. You see from the underside how I'm putting this in there. Fits just like so. And there we go. Might want to use some tape to secure all this and hold it together. By the way, one thing I never removed is the tape that I used to hold parts down. Why? Not necessary. Just let it stay there for the duration of the entire life of the model. Why? Because if things come apart, tape's still there to hold together. It's kind of a smart move. At least that's what I think. So there you see it. Looks good. Go around that edge. Of course, make it look pretty. Here we go. What are we putting in here? The final bay door. I thought I put it in before. Guess I didn't, so we're doing that now. Anyway, there it is. It is in as well. Like I said, just kind of do piece by piece. So right here we have our afterburners. Plans call for it to go gunmetal, so we got four of these. There's one of them. Doing the front and the back. One more, just for good luck, right? Of course, we're not going to show you them all. There we go, those are done. Now we have our little top of the ladder door linkage. These also go gunmetal. Some of these were white. Paint those, there are two of them. Make sure you get them all, of course. Inside of the exhaust nozzle, those are gunmetal, and the outsides are a combo of gunmetal and steel. I did mine in all steel. Uh, they make aftermarket parts as well that you can buy that are more realistic for all those that care about more realistic aircraft. You can get those, so here's the steel. And of course, we have our turbine fans. Paint those steel as well. And of course, there are four of those, only showing you one set. So we are going to attach those turbines into the intake ducts that you see that we did earlier. Don't worry about the paint job. Half that stuff you can't see anyway unless you take a flashlight to it. I'm not doing that, so maybe you will. So there we go, those are in. We are going to do one of these and show you how you got those little pins and then the little box ends here. Make sure you put this in the right position. There you go, put those on the pins, let those dry. Once they are dry, put on the top of the intake. Yes, these are the intakes, not the nacelles. The engine nacelles come after that. Get that little tab there that you see me just getting right there. These got pins and boxes too. Um, you don't have to sand these, of course, because they're going on the inside. But you do want to make it, I'm sorry, these you will have to sand. Uh, we will make them look pretty. Model making madness. Had to say that, didn't I? Of course, because I said in all my videos. Uh, it did go together fairly well. I do. There is a little bit of Bondo stuff, whatever you want to do. So here's the fun stuff, what you've all been waiting for. Kind of putting these wings in here. I am going to assemble this body section by section. So what you see here, I'm just doing the very right side of this fuselage. So here we go, that is the opposite side of that, because remember how you're lining this up, you want to make sure you do it right. Side to it, put a little bit of glue into the little round deal there. Make sure you can move your wings at the same time. You see where I'm putting that, you don't want the wings to dry together. You see I still have the tape on there. I never bothered removing it. So the reason I'm doing this in sections is that way I can make sure everything is aligned properly on each area. So here I'm doing the other side. Notice I took out the wing. Well, I'm going to put it back in because we do have some flex in that. You don't want to crack the parts, but you want to make sure you get good glue adhesion on these and make sure these parts really bond. So, you know, just watch out for my bald head there and pop this into place and make sure it moves how you want it to. And then just kind of clamp these down. I used, uh, this is the back of the plane. We are now doing this section. I used, as you can see here, CA glue and some, you know, uh, whatever you want to call that stuff that makes it dry a little bit faster. I put some of that in there because you want to hold this stuff down. I didn't feel like holding it forever. But you see I put that in there and then here's a small little spot. You can actually see it work its magic there. Had a little dribble. There we go, dripping stuff all over the place. Do I care? No. Same process, I'm using my CA glue. You can use cement, whatever you want to use. I don't care. So here we go. Hold these down. And this is why it's easy to work one level at a time. That way you can concentrate on what you're doing, let other parts dry, and then come back to it. That way the plane lines up nice and neatly. Yes, you are going to have to fill in these seams, but that's okay. So while that dries, here are intakes. Getting rid of all these little lines that you see here. 
yeah, the model does need some work. It's not perfect. If it were, it wouldn't be fun to do, right? Here we go. This is a remnant of the intakes. Scratching stuff off, sanding it, however you want to do it. We will also use some putty on there just to do a little bit of filler. Sanding it, and then we will shine it up like we are doing here. That one looks good. So finish the seams. I am doing this before I put anything else onto the plane. Why? Because it's just easier to work with. This is a big plane. The easier it is to move it around, the easier it is. Now watch out for the wings because you don't want those to break off. I did have a problem with not the wings breaking off, but cracking some things. So here is the front of that fuselage. Doing some work on there, not a lot. So there's the raw version. And here we are sanding a little bit of it and then you can see on the wings where I did that, here we are scratching in some panel lines that got covered up during the sanding process. We're just about done with this main area. So you've done fairly well watching this video, haven't you? So let's glue on the tail section. This fit up fairly nicely. Not too much work to do. You do have to do some bit of work. Kind of just pops right on there. Look at that. Looks wonderful. And let that dry so you make sure everything lines up while that's drying. Take these wheel hubs, press them into place, and then on one side you can put some glue and put in the actual wheel. So this is one that is a pass-through. So put that in there, meaning it has a pin that will go into it. Press that down really good, use whatever. This is the other one. Press that in. That locks into place there. You see it's got the axle. Put some glue on the inside of this wheel. Of course, this is one of the back wheels, one of eight of them and they are supposed to free spin so you could just kind of push this plane along. Uh, so if you ever have like some grease or something you can put there on there. Now this is the uh, front wheel of course you see it's a lot smaller doing the same process here. Two of these you know this is the one that has the little axle onto it and then we have the area that doesn't have the axle. Same thing. Push this into place and put your other hub on there. Fun stuff right? I think so. So getting down to the very last piece here. This is the front. We are going to clamp this down, believe it or not. This one did not have the best fit in the world, but you know, we did what we did to make it work. So that's all you have to do is the same type of thing. Go to glue all the way around. You see where I put in the uh, weights right there. I cut those out. So this is a tight fit. You're gonna to have to do a little work to get it to fit. You see it looks a little odd on one side, so you have to work it just a little bit. You see all the seams there that it will need filled in and worked. That was the hardest part of the plane. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the video. You see that clamp there? Coming up next, going to sand all those seams that I showed you, going to put in the front windshield, many, many other things, and yes, painting. Look how big this is. Yeah, I'm in a robe. There's my bald head. Painting this gunmetal or gray, dark dark gray, whatever you want to call it. Put some decals on this plane. Put on some wheel wells. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. To see the next video, subscribe so you get that update when it comes out. Give us some comments and some likes. Until next time, see ya!